So today is the very first VHS Voyage Q&A. We got a lot of awesome questions from a lot of awesome people, but before we start answering everybody's questions, I wanna say something to everybody. I wanna say thank you for the awesome support for VHS Voyage. We've got a lot of people that tune in on every single video. We got a lot of people that leave awesome comments. We've got a lot of regular viewers. And uh, we just want to thank you for that, for your support. We're closing in on a thousand subscribers slowly, but surely. But we're going to kick things off with our good friend, Eric from Cup of Retro. I'm going to be honest. There's going to be some answers I give really short answers yeah, to. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anything specific, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I had to think about this one. What popped into my head? Vampire Hunters. That movie? I want to find more movies. Oh, I see like what you're that. saying. Okay. Yeah. So not like a specific movie, but like another funny dub movie. Yeah. yeah. I want to find some more of these weird, obscure Japanese movies with horrible English dubs. I mean, you just said it. It's I, Vampire Hunters. That was my answer too. Yeah. <laughs> Vampire Hunters. It's the it's so bad, but it's so funny. It's yeah. so horrible, but it made it into our top ten movies list. It did, which is insane. Yeah, right? but it could have easily went into the ten worst oh, also. Yeah. But it's hilarious. Oh, so funny. It, it, you guys just don't understand. <laughs> there's literally a scene in this movie where there's a Japanese man that has been dubbed over with the most stereotypical Mexican accent you've ever heard. He almost passed out. I did. So I bl I, no joke. My I started seeing black. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever started yeah. slowly blacking out. Damn. It's never happened. Damn. Yeah. Dude. You got to laugh pretty hard yes, for that dude. to happen. Like you got to be cutting off I, oxygen Because I was getting brain. dizzy and like, it was like going dark. Yeah. Willpower? I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't even, I just have to do it. I'm just like, yeah. what else am I going to do? Yeah. I don't like it's, trust me. I don't want to. Yeah. When you get halfway through a bad movie, you're oh, like, yeah. you're like sitting there like, there's still there's still 45 minutes left. Yep. Uh, so the only thing that kept me going, I guess, was just mental power. Yes, that's that's pretty much what I was gonna say. Yeah. Just sheer willpower to yeah. just power through it, and we do it for you guys. And I hope you're enjoying us suffering on your behalf. That feeling though, when yeah. when the movie like cuts the black and goes to yes. credits. Oh. I do have plans to do that. I think what, and I haven't actually told you this, but I think what we'll have to do, have the person that we want to be guests watch the movie ahead of time. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then, yeah, the, yeah. then all they got to do is come over here yeah. and we can film it. Do we put them on a laptop right here and just have their head looking at the camera? We could do that. Yeah. That we, that could, and we you could, could get actually like a do third, that. the audio source from yeah. it. Yeah. Actually, we could do that <laughs> if somebody, yeah. So if somebody's like across the country, we could get them on like that. Yeah. That's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. You're a I, just, I don't know why that popped in my I just saw Dang. I just saw a head sitting here, whatever that means. Yeah. There would be some issues with that. That would be so hard to do. Yeah. And we would get copyrighted. Yeah, we would get copyrighted. It, it, we probably wouldn't even make it through the whole stream yeah. before it gets shut down. So unfortunately, that's not really I mean, we could do it if we didn't stream the movie sound yeah also probably. we're not talking while watching it yeah it would you would literally yeah. just be staring at us sitting yeah. there uh yes i have three or four different movie ideas in my head um i just have to sit down and just start writing a rough draft of some scripts at some point but i do have some movie ideas i'm not gonna say what they are but i do have some movie ideas in my head that i hope to pipe dream maybe one day uh make even if they're super low budget what about you i think if anyone who like really loves movies probably has a little bit of yeah. part of inside of them that would love to make oh, one yeah. one day yeah. or get their idea out there i put monkey shines because the cover was an animatronic mm -hmm. monkey with a blade in its hand. So I thought there was gonna be like one of those monkeys with the symbols, yeah. yeah. Cause that's what's on the front of the movie, but it was actually a, a, like a capuchin monkey. Yeah, you know what's funny? What? That was my exact choice oh, really? as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for the same reason, I thought yeah. it was gonna be like this killer animatronic yeah. monkey. And what it ended up no. being, dude, was insane. It's a legit capuchin monkey. The movie that let me down the most was Whispers. And the reason, oh, okay that Whispers let me down is because Whispers is an adaptation of a Dean Koontz book, a really good Dean Koontz book. And so I was hoping that the movie would be a good adaptation and it ended up being 
one of the worst movies, I, I think. I just had one kind of pop in my head. Bro, Marcello made out cold. <laughs> Dude, bro, Marcello made out cold till like it was going to be this this phenomenal movie, bro. A man got his wiener stuck in a jacuzzi, dude. Yeah. So do you want to talk about your information gathering process? Yeah, I just like go to IMDb and a couple other websites and just kind of go through them for a few minutes and yeah. see what I can find. Yeah. It's real. It's not as fun as it yeah. you might think it is. Right. As far as like setting up the film, we've got three different camera angles. One of them is our main uh, mirrorless camera. And then we've got the our smartphones as the alternate cameras. We got a microphone, some lighting set up. We don't actually talk to each other about the movie before we film so that way when we film we're getting each other's raw basically thoughts without kind of talking to each other ahead of time so that's one thing we do and i feel i feel like that makes it more interesting yeah. cool now mine are going to be the same today as they were in high school um you want me to start this one yeah, off go ahead. uh my answers are going to be pretty like cliche i guess um back to the future and i'm counting the whole trilogy lord of the rings i'm counting the whole trilogy the original star wars trilogy uh terminator 2 and teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 i can always rewatch that movie uh what about you yeah so i, I did split it i split it apart here uh because it's definitely different so high school i was watching like the basic the high school i was watching super bad dude there was a point in time <laughs> yeah. there was a point in time where every day i got home from school i would watch super bad or yeah. 21 jump street which also wrote down nice. half baked a lot oh yeah half baked dude because you know when you're participating in certain yeah. activities yeah. you want to watch half baked yeah i watched that movie a lot dude, dude. <laughs> uh, also i don't know why but there was a summer when i watched point break for the first time mm -hmm. where i watched point break i would just throw it on every day in the summer I i'm weird about watching movies at different um, seasons of the year. And then the last movie I watched a lot, which I just rewatched it a few weeks ago, uh, when I was in high school, I took a forensic science class and that's when I got into true crime. I still love true crime. And I had to write a paper on the Zodiac Killer. I watched, I used to rewatch Zodiac a lot when that's I was in high school. That's a good school. movie. Great movie, D David Fincher, of course. Yeah. And then now, for some reason, I watch Moneyball every year. I love Aaron Sorkin's screenplay. It's so I good. I still have not seen that It's movie. so good. I gotta watch you don't that. even have to like baseball to like it. Yeah. Uh, Shit House is a movie I rewatch a lot. I think it's like the perfect Gen Z movie. It's Never so heard good. Of it. It's a coming of age movie. It's yeah. really good. Spider-Man 1 and 2, always. That's that's a lot of rewatch. Sing Street, kind of for the music. It reminds mm -hmm. me of like the Smiths and the Cure and their music. And uh, Do the Right Thing, I watch every summer because it's the perfect summer movie. Nice. Do the right thing. So, dude, I can't, like, this is a question I just can't answer. So here's what I did, man. I just went to the IMDb Top 100 and I just picked the first five that stood out to me. I would have to sit down and think about this question for hours to come up with my answer. I just can't do it. So I'm just gonna quickly throw out um, uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, I'm counting the whole trilogy. I don't care. Uh, Terminator 2, Whiplash, The Dark Knight, and the matrix sun and again if i sat down and thought about it for a few hours my answers would probably be different so what do you got when i read that question i just wrote down like quickly movies that instantly came to my mind i yeah. probably am gonna forget one here but i wrote down chunking express cinema paradiso do the right thing stanley kubrick's barry linden buffalo 66 la Hain, paris texas stalker by tarkovsky uh, Dreams, Dreams is so good. And more, because all those are older movies. Mm -hmm. I put down a modern movie, I just put Moonlight. It's a movie I think about a lot, that's modern. What's your choice on that? I did two gym socks full of quarters. Um, more effective, I can use dual wheel. Yeah. You take out as many possums as possible. And also, after I kill them all, I have some money. That's a good point. And I can go yeah. pay for like my hospital bills now that I have rabies yeah. probably. That was my pick as well, but I didn't even think about the having money afterwards. Yeah. But I got to thinking like a, a pillow sack full of doorknobs would mm -hmm. probably be really heavy. It's gonna take your stamina slow. away. Yeah, stamina, it's gonna yeah. be slow. Mm -hmm. um, and possums are probably pretty quick, so you need, well, they're not, I guess they're not. Now the quick. doorknob is gonna do more damage though. Oh dude, yeah, probably just make yeah. a possum explode mm -hmm. with that thing, yeah. We do need to get Mama Retro as a guest in a VHS Voyage episode. We watch a movie with her and we get her on camera, dude. How funny would She's that gonna be? She's going to be so confused. So confused. I don't know what Terror Vision is, though. No, I don't either. I might have to look that up. I don't know if that's the movie, Steve, that we'll No one Saturn Steve, dude, he follows some hentai profiles on Instagram. 
Dude, he pulled some hentai stuff, bro. I've seen him liking some videos on there, bro. <laughs> oh, God. And then his second question is, if you can only save three of your VHS tapes, which three would it be uh, quickly picked? Vampire Hunters, Bingo, and The Bear. I'm gonna be honest, I, if the house was burning down, I'm not grabbing the VHS well, tapes. Well, yeah, of course. So I didn't even answer this, Yeah. so none. And he, he asks me this question all the time. So he just had to ask it for this Q&A. Is VHS a better format than 4K? No, of course it's not. To say that would be a lie. However, for me, it's it's mainly nostalgia. It, when I when I pick up a VHS tape and pop it in a VCR and start watching it on a true on a real CRT like this one, it just brings back childhood memories of watching movies on VHS. So it, it kind of gives me this feel good kind of feeling. I think they look better on a shelf than any other medium personally because they're they're big. They got, most of them have really cool spines. They really stand out. I, I like the rewinding them and fast forwarding them for some reason, I don't know. It's weird. What about you? I don't prefer VHS to anything else. I, right. I'll watch a movie anyway, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I like this. I like the ringing sound coming off the TV in yeah, my ears. I can hear it right now. But no, I don't I don't prefer any kind of viewing experience. Like I'll watch a movie on my phone, yeah. big TV and a theater, VHS, anything. I don't have like a preference over one or the other. Yeah. First off, the ultra low budget B movies. I feel like we've already reviewed. Yeah, like Boa. Boa. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we'll be doing more yeah. for sure. Unless he means like a guy that like took his camera out in his backyard. Oh yeah, nothing like that. Although that's what Evil Alien Conquerors felt they like. It did feel like that. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, what genre is your favorite to review on VHS Voyage in particular? Dog movies. Dog movies, yeah. Dude, is that even a genre? It is now. Yeah. We've only done two and Ping wasn't that great. Exactly, but yeah. the one stands the one. out amongst the rest. You're right, we do. We got more. And I'm gonna say my favorite VHS Voyage movies to do so far have been 80s movies. A lot of them suck, but every now and then, some of these 80s movies have some really unintentionally funny shit in them. Yeah, especially like the action genre. Yeah, dude. There's With the condom slingshot. The God, God, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was something. Okay, this first one I'm gonna say, I do not hate this movie. I'm gonna catch flack for this, I know. I love these directors. I am not a very big fan of Big Lebowski. Not a very big fan of it. Um, it is by far one of my least favorite Coen Brothers movies. I like the Coen Brothers early stuff. Mm -hmm. I like the 80s stuff and the early 90s stuff. Yeah. Um, and then a, a popular movie I do not like whatsoever. I've watched it twice to try to, maybe the second time I would have connected with it more. I cannot stand American Psycho. Psycho. With I've Christian Bale. Oh, American Psycho. I've only seen that once. I a cannot long time stand ago. that movie. I do not connect with it at all. Yeah. And I don't understand why people like it. What's an unpopular movie you love, though? Okay. That one I put two in. Dude, the first one, this is a very 50 50 movie. The same with all of this actor's comedies. But people hate this movie, but I love it. I love Click Bro with Adam Sandler. Yeah, Click's good. People yeah. hate that movie, bro. Yeah. And another movie I love that people, that I, I notice people liking it way more now, but this movie got shit shit when it came out is Rob Zombie's first Halloween movie. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love Rob Zombie's first Halloween yeah. movie. It's dark. It's gritty. It's gross. It, it gave backstory to Michael. It, I just, I really, really like that movie. And probably besides Halloween 3, which has nothing to do with Michael mm -hmm. Myers, it's probably my favorite Halloween movie. I had a hard time answering this question, man. It, it's hard to find popular <sighs> movies that you don't like, you know? Yeah, I could not yeah. think of one. I yeah. literally couldn't think of one. Now, I also had a hard time thinking of an unpopular movie that I love, so I just kind of picked one because I didn't know that this movie was kind of unpopular, and that's Last Action Hero. I didn't know that a lot of people hated it, and I love that movie. So that's kind of the only thing I could come up with. Never seen it. Yeah, I do like King of the Hill. It is really good. So yeah, that's, yeah. there's your answer. Sorry, I've never seen, I've seen like clips, but I've never yeah. watched an episode. I think that's pretty much what we do. We just kind of look and we just pick whatever catches our eye. Yeah. Yeah. There's I pick not one, then you pick one. Yeah. And we just go back and forth. I'm going to be honest, I haven't revisited a lot of movies that I watched as a kid. Um, maybe for that specific reason that I don't want <laughs> yeah. that. Like, I don't want that to happen where I'm like, oh right. man, this sucks. Also, I'm going to be honest, I, I was kind of a weird kid. I feel like I wasn't watching a lot of bad movies when I was a kid. I, I wasn't watching like a lot of kids movies when I was a kid. The movie I loved as a kid that I 
can't stand as an adult is Biodome. I used to love that movie when I was a kid. I sit down with Heather, I'm like, oh, you're gonna love this movie. We started watching it, we got about 20 minutes into it and we're like, nope. And oh, like, you mean like you did with me with In the Army Now? <laughs> I think you need to, dude, Pauly Shore's got dude. this crux over you, bro. Yeah. My answer is just gonna be really quick and simple. One of my favorite trilogies of all time is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, that's gotta be in there. That, I wrote that down as well. I also wrote down Three Colors, which is up there. It's a, I still need to it's watch a French trilogy. Each movie's told through a different color, the cinematography, yeah. but they all do connect. Uh, also a great Indian trilogy called the Apu trilogy. It's so good. Hmm. Uh, Godfather, of course. I like Godfather 3, people. I know it's one of the most, it's a hated movie. I like Godfather 3. I'm gonna get flagged for that, but the first two are masterpieces, of yeah. course. Uh, when I was a kid, though star wars yeah uh the cornetto trilogy which is a uh, shawn of the dead hot yeah. fuzz oh, yeah. That's uh, world's one. end uh sam raimi spider-man trilogy when i was a kid oh uh anthology movies quite on great japanese movie not on earth tales from the hood coffee and cigarettes all good anthology movies My pick would be Killer Clowns from Outer Space because that's like a hundred dollar tape now. I don't even know what VHS tapes are expensive, so I yeah. can't even answer that. Wasn't what a really stupid question, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Bring back that King of the Hill guy. Call off just kind of what popped in my head. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Evil Dead 2, Nightmare on Elm Street, Poltergeist, and Scream. Yeah, I guess just the good horror movies that came out on VHS. Yeah, yeah pretty Shining much. Exorcist. Shining uh, is, yeah, Exorcist is great. Uh, I, yeah. Yeah. Suspiria. 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 Probably, I was just about to say Suspiria. That one's probably expensive. Probably an expensive yeah. tape. Suspiria or Inferno, which is kind of in the same same yep. director. It's a weird question, but it's actually not a bad idea, dude. You do a, you do a VHS Voyage OnlyFans, and all we're doing is reviewing like soft core. I I don't I'm trying to I don't want to dive yeah, in. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. We're definitely not doing that. I'm gonna go back to Vampire Hunters, I guess, where a girl dies and she gets like brought back to life and she has like a smoker's voice, gravelly voice. Yeah. And I don't know why it was so yeah. funny. The But I think the scene that got me more than anything was the Japanese man that started talking. Oh, yeah. It sounded like, it sounded like <laughs> a, a stereotype, like a yeah. really heavy Mexican accent. Uh, that's the last question, dude. We got some pretty good questions this go around. Uh, thank you to everybody that submitted a question. And again, thank you to everybody that supports the channel. 